Shenzhou 14 crew is finally back, what they did and learned in their mission. The Chinese Space Agency recently saw the completion of their Tiangong space station in low Earth orbit, which was soon followed by the departure of Shenzhou 15 crew from Earth. The crew joined Shenzhou 14 crew, which inhabited the space station at that time, and a total crew of six members proceeded to perform the first official handover on the Tiangong space station, while also checking the space station's capacity of carrying a crew of total six members on board. While this feat was impressive and all, the Shenzhou 14 crew wrapped up their mission and soon proceeded to departure the space station to return back to their homeland in a giant wave of praise and appreciation by their nation and the world itself. The crew spent a whopping, career-breaking six-month on the space station to perform their set of experimentation and also worked on several other missions which we will cover shortly. In today's episode, we are going to talk about the Shenzhou 14 crew's return to Earth, their mission, what they learned, and their overall success on board the Tangong Space Station. This is Race to Space, and if you like watching content regarding space exploration, consider subscribing. A quick overview. The Shenzhou 14 mission kicked off on 5th of June this year after the launch of the spaceflight. The flight marked the 9th crewed Chinese spaceflight and the 14th flight of the Shenzhou program. The crew consisted of Chen Gong, Liu Yang, the first Chinese female taikonaut, and Kai Xuxi. From a range of significant, ambitious experiments to leading lectures from their space station and finally completing their nation's own space station in space before their departure, the Shenzhou 14 crew came a long way and bought honor and pride to their nation. Let's get into the thick of their achievements and what they did in their six-month-long mission. The Shenzhou 14 crew held many of first-of-their-kind missions from the space station. Among these, the crew held the first live session lecture from Wenchen module that was streamed directly to a classroom in China. Millions of other students also live streamed the lecture, and the stream was viewed by tons of other students and people from all over the world and continues to be watched till this day. The Taikonauts Chen Don, Liu Yang, and Kai Xuxi conducted some experiments to show the physical phenomena in the unique environment inside the space station, such as the capillary phenomenon, which is mainly associated with surface tension and results in elevation or depression of liquids in capillaries. They also showed the audience the scientific apparatus inside the Wenchen lab module, which was docked to the Tiangong space station during their stay. They also displayed the sampling procedures on rice and Arabidopsis thaliana, a small flowering plant from the mustard family that grew inside a safety cabinet. The crew also proceeded to introduce the interior of the Wenchen module, showing the dormitory and living area as well as scientific cabinets inside the new module. More than 400 students, including those at the main classroom venue of Technology and Engineering Center for Space Utilization under the Chinese Academy of Sciences in Beijing, and from other classroom venues, including the He's No. 1 Middle School in East China's Shandong Province, Henan Science and Technology Museum in Central China's Henan Province, and Dali New Century Middle School in Southwest China's Yunnan Province, attended the lecture in person. Ken Dong, the mission commander, presented the scientific glove cabin, and practiced sampling operations for the failed crest plants on board with the help of a pair of mixed reality gobbles. According to Chen, the device could provide an airtight and clean operation space in the lab module and could be used to carry out macronder level experiments such as cell penetration with high precision. Liu Yang presented the life and ecology experiment cabin and likened the device to a space hotel for different species. It is expected to improve humankind's understanding about life itself and explore the influence of microgravity on life, among other life science goals. A biological technology experiment cabin and a variable gravity experiment cabinet inside the Wenchen module were also presented by Chen and Liu at the session. Kai Xuz, the third and last member of the crew, played the role of the cameraman, mostly during the event. Afterwards, the crew held a question-answer session in which tons of students participated and had their questions answered gracefully by the crew. The questions were mainly raised by the students in biology and astronomy. At the end of the class, the trio expressed their expectations for the students on Earth and concluded the session with a heartfelt message, we expect you guys to build our space home better in the future. This initiative was applauded by a worldwide audience. There had been two lectures from the Tiangong Space Station in the past, making it the third overall. 
In a series of impressive missions, perhaps the most important mission conducted by the Shenzhou 14 crew was the assembly of the Tiangong Space Station. The crew saw and managed the arrival of both Wenchen and Mengshen lab modules. With the help of ground crew and the robotic arms on the space station, the crew managed to dock first the Wenchen lab module to the space station. The Mengshen module was launched months and docked to the space station. Relocation was also done to form a T-shaped structure with the Tiana core module as the foundation of the overall space station. Both missions were dubbed a complete success by the crew and the Chinese space agency itself. Apart from the laboratory modules, the crew also saw the undocking of Chanzhou 3 as well as Chanzhou 4 missions. A series of spacewalk and a precise help from the ground crew also helped majorly. Overall, the Shenzhou 14 crew boasts the achievement of completing their Tiangong space station among many others. Among tons of other experiments performed by the crew, perhaps the most impressive one was the growth of rice in space. With their arrival back to Earth, the crew also bought these space-grown rice with them. This is the first time that any country has completed a whole life cycle experiment of rice in space. During the orbit period of Shenzhou 14, the experiment was started by injecting nutrient solution on July 29 and ended on November 25. Rice and Arabidopsis seeds experienced 120 days of space cultivation and growth in the China Space Station, completing the whole process of seed germination, seedling growth, flowering, and seed production. During this period, Shenzhou 14 crew collected samples three times, including rice samples at the booting stage, Arabidopsis thaliana samples at the flowering stage and rice and Arabidopsis thaliana seeds at the mature stage. After collection, samples from the flowering or booting stages were stored in a low-temperature storage cabinet at minus 80 degrees Celsius, while samples from the mature stage were stored at 4 degrees Celsius. Scientists will now analyze the molecular biology, cytology, and metabolism of the return samples, assessing the molecular basis of the action of microgravity on Arabidopsis theliana and rice, so as to provide a theoretical basis for further creating crops adapted to the space environment and developing and utilizing microgravity environmental resources. Apart from the rice experiment, bought back other experiments as well. The returned experimental samples include three cold packs of rice and Arabidopsis and a bag with four boxes of container-free materials. They were delivered to the Technology and Engineering Center for Space Utilization under the Chinese Academy of Sciences. A series of other microbiological missions were also conducted. As mentioned earlier, the crews of Shenzhou 14 and 15 spent six days on board the Tiangong Space Station together before the Shenzhou 14 crew departed and landed successfully on Earth. The astronauts were all in good physical condition, and the Shenzhou 14 manned mission was a complete success, the Chinese Space Agency agency announced. Liu Yang, China's first female astronaut, said she had an unforgettable memory in the space station and is excited to return to the motherland. Chen Dong, the mission commander and also the first Chinese astronaut to stay in orbit for over 200 days stated, I am honored to witness the formation of our space station's basic configuration. I am proud of my country. With much about the triumphant return of Shenzhou 14 crew, their mission and achievements covered, it's time to wrap this one up. If you have any topics in mind, comment below and we will cover them for you. As always, subscribe to never miss out. This is Race to Space and we'll see you in the next one.